So you want to organize your notes within your e-ink device. Well, you came to the right place. Let's talk about it. Welcome everybody back to the channel. This is Aaron Reed with 2530 Media. If this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And like always, if you're finding the information that you're hearing informative, go ahead and hit the like. So let's jump into it. Today, we're gonna to talk about organizing your thoughts within your notes app. Now you guys know I use the 10.3 by books. So we're gonna be working in the 10.3. I'm gonna show you guys how I use the 10.3, kind of like a second brain device. I wanna show you how I build out a table of contents or an index for my information within the notes app that is native to the 10.3. We're gonna cover the use of a couple of tools like the outline tool. We're gonna cover the tags tool. We're gonna use some links. And then we're gonna show you how that looks once you export it all to a PDF. So let's check it out. So like always guys, we're going to start from the home screen and we're gonna hop into the notes app that is native to the 10.3. And so as you see here, my home page is the notes app. So we'll hop into our notebook that we're gonna show the sample. So inside our, our notebook here, this is a notebook that I am using to build out the first season of a new podcast that I'm producing. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our pages view. And from there, I'm gonna show you guys how I've set up the outline. So we'll go to our outlines tab. Now from here, you'll see we have a couple of different categories that I have set up for the outline. So the good part about my outline feature is that I'm able to categorize or make a table of contents for all of the information, how I kind of wanted the flow. So we'll start here with the first one, which is meet the pod. We'll click on that. And you see, we have a couple of things. We have runtime and show format. So when we click on runtime, it'll take us to the runtime. We have some information there. We can go back to our outline. Same thing with show format gives out the format of the show. So we'll just expand a couple of the other ones so you can see. So now that we've expanded all of them, you can see we have a collection of outlines and sub outlines for you to be able to organize your notes, put information where you want to put it. So we'll click into my guest list here, which for the podcast you see i have um, a guest list i can click on this icon which is a link and it will take me to my list of guests that i have compiled so for the first one i only have one guest right now for episode two and his name is young james boogie now we also use the links function to click on the link and it will take us to some more information about our guest now that we are in our guest bio that we've created for one of our guests that we have coming on, we even have another layer of organization or what I like to call brainstorming, where we have a link here that will take us to some of that person's content so we can just see what style of podcast or host that they are. This link will take us to a YouTube page for this person's content. I kind of feel like the Texans exposed some weaknesses a little bit against the man. And, and I, I don't want to say that the Chiefs had some help with the refs, but it was some questionable calls. Once we've checked out that information, it's easy to hop back into your notebooks. You can do it a couple of ways. So for right now, we'll just go here. We'll hop back in our notes. Now that we're back in our notes, we can navigate back to our guest list and navigate back to our main notebook that we were working in. Now we'll just explore a couple of more sub outlines and outlines that we have set up. You also see we have our host profile here. So if I click on the host profile, it's gonna take me to our main host that we have. It has a profile for our main host. If you notice here, I've made her initials a tag and I'll get to how I use tags a little later on. So we can always navigate back to our page view that gets us our outlines. And we just have 
a couple of more things with our outlines and sub outlines. And it just gives me that layer of organization to be able to jump to different notes within the notebook for segment one, for us meet the Williams, which is just simply a small breakdown of the segment that we would do. So now I'm going to show you guys how I've incorporated tags within this workflow as well. So let's navigate to the tags menu and how I'm using the tags menu in this notebook is to just simply highlight some key things that I might want to jump to right away. Um, if I know I'm working on some information. So let's say if I want to jump to my host bio to read some stuff about her, I will click on that and it takes me directly to that. I can pop back out and I have some more tags, show description. I can pop to that. Episode two, if I want to see what's going on episode two, I can easily click on that. And again, I have my links for my guest bio here like I did last time. That takes me to my guest bio. So the next thing I want to do is show you guys how easy it is to add information within the notebook wherever you want to add it. So let's go here. And this time we are going to be working around our host profile and we're going to add a sample profile for our second host. Another cool feature that I like to implement within my note taking or completing tasks is the custom templates tool that is on the 10.3. Now there's several different ways that you can do this. You can bring over PDFs that you've made templates or you can create it directly on the 10.3. So I'm gonna show you guys a template that I created on the 10.3, and in a later video, I'll show you guys exactly how you can create templates on your 10.3, and then move them to the custom templates tab within the notebooks, so you can use them for any application that you like. So to do that, the first thing we're gonna do is add a new page. And now we're going to go here and load one of the custom templates that I've created on the 10.3, which in another video, we will cover how you can make those custom templates on the 10.3. So now I go to my custom templates tab and here you see, I have my host bio page. So now we'll set up the host profile with a sample host, a uh, host name will be host Bob. And for a bio, we'll put Houston, Texas. Down here is where I would fill in anything if they are film or if they're a theater, or if they don't do that, I would put in exactly what they do. So for here, we'll just put in a. This is also where I would add any links to any of their social media or their past work that they would do. And once we've done that, it's simple and easy to add that to our outline. Now, adding that to the outline, you can do one or two things. You can simply just add it to the outline through sub outline. So you can go here and you can go to host profile. You can go add sub outline and now I'll just put host Bob. hit OK. And now I've added host Bob to my host profile as a sub outline. Another thing you can do if you're like me and you like things to fall in certain order or category, let's move host Bob from page nine to page five. So we can simply do that by going to our pages view. From there, we're going to hit our select all. That's going to give us the opportunity to select the page and now we're going to move it and we want to move this one to page five to come after our first host bio now it's moved to page five now it's moved to page five and when we look at our outline it has moved the page to page five as well so one of the last steps that i do once i'm finished with a notebook which makes this building a outline or a table of contents or indexing your information worth it is the exporting when we export it to a PDF. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pop out of this view 
and we're going to export our entire notebook as a PDF. And I'll show you guys how the table of contents or the outline travels with the document. So we'll go to share and export. From there, we'll select all. And now we're going to hit our share button. From there, we're going to go hit our export. Now it's exporting it as a PDF. Now that it's done exporting, we'll go to the document. So here's our document here. We'll open this in our Neo Reader. And now once you're here, you have the opportunity or the option to merge the document with your local data or your local notes. I don't want to do that right now. So I hit cancel. And so now once it's here, you can annotate on it. So let's do this. We'll put test on this page. Let's bookmark this page. Let's write hello on this page. And let's bookmark this page. Now that we've completed that, let's look at the layer of organization that we have added to it now. So once you get your menu bar, you just go to the side here. Now this is going to pull up your table of contents that we made. So we'll click here. And now we have our table of contents that we created within our notes app that travels with us as a PDF. And it's the same options that it gives you when you're in your notes app. Once you have a finalized project and you've exported it to a PDF and you still want to be able to jump back and forth through your notes. Now, the one thing that it doesn't do, it doesn't bring the links that you might have added with it. So like that link to the YouTube page for our guest bio, it doesn't travel with it. However, it does give you a table of contents to be able to sift through your information and jump directly to wherever you want to jump to. Once you're in your Neo Reader, you also have some more tools. So those annotations that we made earlier, let's check on those and see where they're at. So once you click on add that icon, every page that you've made an annotation to will pop up here and you can simply just click on it and go to it. So our hello world that we annotated is there. Same thing here, our test is there. And then of course, lastly, when you go back to this menu, you can check on your bookmarks. And now every page that we bookmark, it'll show you that we made a bookmark there. So on runtime, we bookmarked that one, as you can see the bookmark here. And again, on the guest list, it was a bookmark. So this is the workflow I use when I want to kind of use my 10.3 as a second brain device to add that extra layer of organization using the outline tool, the tags tool, and a combination of links and bookmarks and other things. So basically, this is the process that I use when I'm building a table of contents or I want to index out my information within the notes app on the 10.3. Now, this example is something I use when building out a new season of a podcast that I'm producing and co-hosting with my wife. However, you can use this application that I showed you guys across all the board with anything that you want to complete from work to creative writing to script writing to whatever you want to use. So let me know in the comments, do you think the process is a good process? Do you guys know of a better way to index this information within your notes app? And if you're using a different platform, I know a lot of my Supernote guys out there love the Supernote and they tell me that it does this in a better, more efficient way. So if you're one of those users out there, go ahead and drop that in the comments as well. But thank you guys for checking out the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later. <music>